welcome to the second part of this tutorial where we actually get to use the dojo component um, and I think what we're going to do just to prove out that we can use the dojo toolkit is maybe add some UI type components uh, dojo has a feature rich uh, set of UI widgets uh, which we're going to we're going to maybe demonstrate a couple and we'll do the tooltip which I thought was pretty pretty nice looking on the screen as well as a title pane uh, so let's get started as you can see we still have our, our Grails application up and running in our list view from here we can create a new customer so I thought we would modify this screen to have the tooltip and the uh, title pane uh, so let's get started First of all, uh, I'm using Eclipse, so you can go ahead and use your preferred IDE. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually import uh, my project just into my IDE. So I'm going to say existing project into the workspace. We're going to go uh, C colon dojo test app. And there it is. I finish. And here we go. We have our test app right there. Um, I'm going to make the assumption that my this Dojo test app is going to have Dojo components in all of its screens. So I'm going to simplify the approach here by adding the Dojo hooks, the, the, um, you know, the, the CSS files, style sheet files, into the root of the application. And Grails has the notion of uh, the model view controller. So here's the views. Uh, and I'm going to just modify the layout. Layout is is the component that's on every screen. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open that up. And from here, uh, so it really just puts an icon at the top saying this is Grail's application. And, and, and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and add in uh, some CSS files. And so. What I've done here is I've included two of the CSS files uh, for Dojo, and I used the Tundra uh, theme. Uh, they have multiple themes that you can check out, but for now, I'm going to just use the Tundra. Seems pretty nice to me. Uh, I'm going to create a link to my JavaScript where we drop the uh, libraries. We have Dojo release 1.5.0, which is the directory uh, back here, so web apps. JavaScript, and then there we go, we have our Dojo release 1.5, as well as we're going to include the Dojo CSS. And what I'm doing is I'm going to just make every uh, UI screen in my application Tundra aware. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it on the body. So the default is Tundra. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Um, now let's go open our create screen because that's the one we said we we're going to modify. So here's our create screen. First thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, include the JavaScript on the screen. Again, we could have done it in our main, but let's just let's just import it on here just for as a difference. And what I'm going to include is again a JavaScript. I need a pointer to my source directory, and this is a. a comp I just added this to allow the Dojo to load when the screen loads. But you can read more on Dojo. Uh, this is really about getting Grails to work with Dojo, so I won't dive too deep in on how Dojo works. I'll just give you the basics, and you can go do your reading. Next, what we want to do is we want to include. Um, the components that we're going to use apart from the Dojo library. So again, we're going to just include a script. And what this is telling us is we are going to require the tooltip as well as the title pane libraries. And I've added this this piece of snippet which is on load I need you to create me a new tooltip which is and maybe enter the customer's first name. Uh, and I'm going to connect that to my first name component in my form. 
which we, if we scroll down, we can see uh, we have this first name component, which is a text field. So essentially, if I hover over top of this or I enter into this, I should get my tooltip uh, telling me to enter their first name. We're also going to go ahead and we're going to uh, give it a better look and feel. have is remember back here we had uh, when we created a new customer uh, I'm going to add a, a, a title pane just to make it look a little nicer up here um, so let's go back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab just for my snippet here Let's go over our div. Let's just add. So one way was I programmatically created a tooltip, and the other one is I'm just using a dojo technique, which is just adding this tag, which is saying I need a title pane, give it a title of customer details, and I think what we're going to do is let's put. move forward Let's save that so what we've done is we created added the uh, title pane component we've asked it to go ahead and programmatically create us a tooltip and tie it to the first name we've included our JavaScript library and we said go ahead and load this on load essentially that should work so let's go back to our Rails application. Let's drag that over here and see what we got. Oh, look at that. I refresh the screen and we have our customer details title pane, which allows us to shrink and open. And like I said, if we hover over top, we get our tooltip, which is telling us to enter the customer's first name, which is what we expected. So essentially, from here, you can now leverage the Dojo Toolkit to enrich uh, the UI components of your Grails application as well. Start taking advantage of some of the more powerful uh, Java script uh, library features that Dojo offers. So please give Dojo a try, give it with Grails, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you, bye-bye.